Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Uh, I'm going to put those two in there. And that means that the robots should now start picking up. Yep, there we go. They're now going to be picking up from here instead of picking up from the other side. So I can also come down here. There was another couple of little tweaks that we wanted to make to the production down here. So they've got a lot uh, less distance to travel now. I'm going to help them out a bit by putting in a couple more of these. I feel that that's going to be a positive step for us by putting in a few extras there. The iron ore right here, I've got 8,000 demanded. It does it in 200, so I could go up to 12,000 on there. So I've got most of a chest. I don't think I need to change that, especially now that I've got it a whole lot closer. The only thing that I am going to change is I'm going to put this with these. I'm going to change this back and fire that up as well. So that we get more of it coming in here. It does mean that there'll be a little bit less steel going on round. These aren't being made very quickly. But they are being made. That's the important thing. As long as they're being made, that's fine. Copper down here. That's kind of the shortage bit over there. A lot of changes that need to be made. I don't have enough iron coming in here, but hopefully the slight changes I've made to iron production up here will change that and will get a little bit extra now pushing its way on round. And that'll keep that steel nose to tail all the way through. So let's move on in a little bit further. And it was down here. So I've got 8,000 demanded in here. I've got 7,200 on the way. So I'm actually going to change this one. And this is going to be a full chest. I'm going to go for a full 12,000 in there. So that's a full chest in there. I've got 11,100 on the way. Why have I only got 11,100 on the way? Oh, because I've got 900 on me. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Have a look in there. Yeah, I got 11,000 on the way and I've got 1,000 in here. Thereabouts. Perfect. And total logistic storage for copper is 17,000. Right, so that should help a little bit. The other thing that I'm going to want to do, first up is I'm going to go 1, 2 in here. And I'm going to do the fast stack inserters here. Instead of the normal ones, which should help increase the speed that we pull this out of here. Seems to a bit. I'm going to make a third fast stack inserter. And that one's going to go right there. And we're going to have a power pole connected to it. And then it's going to have a pickup point over there. And that's also going to start stuffing material from this chest into this one. Which then stuffs it onto this line. So which way are you going? Oh, I see. I've got an extra copper production down here. Right. That should help to balance things out a little bit. And we may also have started to get... So no, still nothing is being taken from that one. But that's not quite so important now. And I'm also starting to empty out some of the iron ore that's coming up this way which is good that's going to keep that flowing right there's another job done so the actual main reason that we wanted to go to all the trouble of making the rubber is now our next task i don't want to look in there i want to look in here usage silver cable harness that's actually what we wanted to start making now to be honest, I don't remember what I was going to do with the silver cable harness. Uh, but there's a very easy way that I can... Intermediate product? This is all the space extension mod. That's along, that's that's further down the list. We, we don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, silver cable harness right there. Usage. 
So I need to make silver servo motors. I need to make electronics block level three. This is the main one that we wanted to do. We've got the other ingredients for that one. Electronics blocks. And then we've got energy blocks, uh, robot charging pads, no, uh, normal cabling, although we probably won't be using that. And then charging base station medium. Yeah, I don't need to worry about those. But anyway, silver cable harnesses. Craft. I need silver wire, silver cable shielding, which is just silver plate. So we need to go up to silver production. Silver production is coming along well. We've got over on this side a quantity of silver wire, and over on this side we have a quantity of silver cable shielding. So we've got all of those items being made. I just need the rubber to go with the rest of it. So if I go to craft right here. I need those two, and I need the liquid rubber. I think we will make the shielding here, just close by. Um, we've got the shielding comes down through there. I've got... That runs up here. So I've actually got the silver wire runs up to this part up here and sort of joins in together. So I'm already pulling out the silver wire and using it for an item. I can join these two together really easily. I can just pull them on there. I can also just put a splitter in here and do it like that. I'll pull it out of the chest there and bring it underneath and then have the two of them going together next to just a few of these now i've only got four of them right there got four of them over there i don't really think i need more than four so we'll do it with just four for now it's got to be over by one there's not gonna be quite enough room in there is there so we'll have to bring it up here uh i could always put it there no, I won't. I'll do it over this side. Four factories right there. And that one is going to be Bob's Logistics, Bioprocessing, Metallurgy, uh, Angel's Components. That's the one that we're looking for. We want Silver Cable Harness right there. That's going to have to go. We'll bring that one around. So if I just copy and paste these out like that... Uh, yes, I'll have the in-feed pipe will be over there like that. We will then have a belt that is going to be placed here. Like that. We'll put two of these, one here and one here like that. And put one of them down. I'll put an underground belt that is going to go over to here. Gonna come out that way. That's gonna go up there. This underground belt is going to go. Huh. Should I bring it round and put it here? It's actually gotta end up going over there, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I can still I can have the belts going to that point. So this one here. Let's remove that. I'll put that one right there. So it won't reach, so it's going to go up by one further. And that one's going to pop out there like that. And then I'm going to take this belt. It's going to bring it around. It's going to go in there like that. That would be kind of an ideal way to do this, except that this isn't quite going to work out with the... Will it? My problem is all of these robots right in the way right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the robots from here, just so that I can figure out the other bits that I want to do here. So that one, I'm going to move that one up by one. That's going to go to there. And I'm going to take that one out as well. And I'm going to take that one out as well. So then what I want to do is I want to do that. So I've got a splitter on here. That one's going to go straight. I'm going to put 
that one up there like that. And then I'm going to have my underground belt. It's going to go here like this. And that's going to bring the silver wire back into where we want it. Then we're going to need this one coming over to here. So that's going to have to have the underground belt come out there like that. That's going to put that out where I want that one. Except that it's not where I want it to be. So what we'll do instead then is we'll take these and we will offset both of these onto the opposite side of the belt like that. That's going to be more like it. And then I will go up here and I will just empty out the belt a minute. Take everything out. So I'll just bring that belt up by one. Just do that a second. All right, empty out the belt so that I've just emptied. So I'm just now I've only got the material on one side of the belt. It's quite important that we have that. I can now go and put this one back. It's no longer going to be in our way. And I can have a belt that comes over here and goes like that. So this one will side load onto the belt. That's fine. It won't interfere with the silver wire that is coming up here. So we're just extracting a little bit of silver wire out of the side. And that is going to come up here like this. Very exciting times, isn't it? And that one's going to go to there. Let's go and have a look. So we've done the oil processing, uh, oil pressing of fish. That is finished. What else we got in here that we might want to do? We've got the crawler things. We've got robotics level 2. I haven't even built robotics level 1 yet. Give me a chance. Uh, belt immunity equipment, portable solar panel, vehicle roboport, personal roboport modules. Hmm. That might be a good one. Is there anything in particular that I desperately need to get? I don't think there is. I do want to get this one. Basic. Wait. Have they changed? No, blue science analyzers. I'm not making blues yet, am I? Yeah, that's what we're trying to make. I haven't reached blue yet. Okay, so we're just going to start. We've got paste processing now. All different kinds of colors. Titanium paste, iron paste, gold paste. There's all sorts of stuff that we can do in there. Right, so then I need to be able to join these together. And I also need to be able to put inserters on here. So what we will do is we'll put inserters here like this. And I'm going to do this slightly different. I'm going to do this. And because of that one, move it slightly. I'm going to come out to there. Right, that's going to go out like that. There. And then the pipe that's going to feed it is going to be there. I don't always do it like that, but sometimes it's quite useful to do that so that you've got the pipes out of the way of the factory unit. And then this one is going to go in an upwards direction. All the way up to there. And I will put down a passive provider chest. That one's going to go there. Put down a robot station. I will put down one of those. We will put down two of these. Has most of everything is just put an outfeed on them, and then I can go one here, one here, one up there, and one there. So all I need to do is bring the rubber over from the other side, and then I've got the silver cable harnesses being made. I've only got four factories making them, but there's a minor detail. As we advance, we'll be expanding out on an awful lot of these things. So I need to be able to get the rubber that we're now making, which is up there. I want to bring it down to this level, and then we will pipe it across. So we're going to go up through here. The pipe is going to run down here. I think, actually, this line that I'm looking at right here is going to be the best line for this pipe. So that one's going to go there and there like that. So if I go up here... There and there like that. I'll bring that one up to 
here. Okay, we don't want that. We'll just do it like this. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the wrong place for that, isn't it? So if we, instead of having it there, I'll put the north facing one that's going to go to this point and then that one will go up to there like that and then i can have i can't put a pipe in there that one's going to be in the way so it's got to run over this side and that is where everything needs to be connected up so there's the rubber is coming down as far as here now so now i want to start heading east with this I'm gonna run over this way like that and bring it all the way past all of this lot. Now this is where it's going to get complicated. So I got—I I literally just need to go in a straight line all the way along there. But we're not going to be able to get it through all of that lot very easily, are we? What have I got going on over here? Why? Oh. It disconnected that because I didn't actually need it to be running. Because I'd filled all of that up. That's that's why I disconnected those pipes. Okay, so that's fine. Um, now, where's the, the best way to run this? So I got the silver production down there. And I, I need to get across silver production. But I could bring it across here. If I can get across that bit, maybe a piece in the middle. So we want to get down here. We'll work backwards on this. We want to get over there. We, but we can work backwards on it. We can get over to this point. That's easy enough. It's just stepping across this bit. If I was to put the pipe there and there, that's uh, going to be in the wrong place. So I want to bring it down by one. And if I can bring it over to that point there, put underneath there, and I can connect into that one, then I can bring it over here. I go right there. It's not in the way of anything that's happening over there. It's just above these pipes over this side as well, which is absolutely spot on perfect. And that's going to come out to uh, here. I'm going to put it here like this. That one's going to turn around and it's going to go up to there. So you can be removed. We can put this one in and we can put this one in. And there is our liquid rubber. That goes all the way across. And I'm making the silver cable harnesses. I have nine of them in here. Now we are making some progress. So we finally, finally got the silver cable harness in here. And the reason that we want those silver cable harnesses was so that we could make the level three electronics block. It was this one. We've got those, we've got those, we've now got the silver cable harnesses. That rubber was the... I, like, genuinely, you look at that, you see electronics block two, obviously we're making those, but you've got the batteries in there, you've got the orange circuits in there. Out of all of it, the silver cable harness was... You'd think that was sort of a relatively simple thing to do, but that was the most complex one that we had. But anyway, we've got that now, so now we can start making the electronics blocks. Everything that we've got here should be in a logistics system. Orange circuits, we've got those. We've got construction frame level 3. Have a look in here, craft. Construction frame, orange circuits, battery 2, electronics block 2. So we've got construction frames, the orange circuits. The batteries should be in here somewhere. It better be. There's the electronics block too. It's the batteries. I know I'm making them. I just don't know where they are. Uh, does anybody know where I put the batteries? Did I not put those? Maybe I didn't quite finish the production of those properly. Nothing would surprise me anymore. There must be a battery here somewhere. Right, well, there isn't in there, obviously. So let's go and have a look at the battery production area. That's just down here. It's only a short walk down over here. That's the level one battery bit. There we go. I am making them. I just haven't hooked them up to anything. That was stupid. Very, very stupid. I want to go to Angel's Logistics. 
And I'll make a couple of big passive provider chests. I will just bring this one out one more like that. And then we're going to want a couple of these. Let's just wait for them to make. Takes ages for these to make. If, if you're staring at them and you're willing them to be made, it takes a while. But anyway, we've got one now, so that's that's all that really matters. We pop one down in here, and then I can go boom and boom like that. And I can put one of those in there, and I can put one of those in there. So I now have batteries in the system. Right, that's good. That's all that really matters. We've got batteries, and all the rest of this is going to slowly work and make a few batteries. So to make the actual electronics blocks, I kind of want to... Well, I was going to say, I want to be near where we're making the majority of it, but unfortunately, the majority of it is not near. Uh, we've got the construction frames are being made over here. The silver cable harness is being made here. The battery is being made halfway between the two. It's being made here. The electronics block level two. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. That's a very good question. Where is the electronics block level two being made? Well, this is slightly embarrassing. Oh, I'm looking right at it. Electronics block two is being made there. The battery is there. The construction frame is down there, and the new cable harness is up there. Orange circuits. Those are down here, aren't they? Yes, there is the orange circuits. Orange boards, orange circuits are all in here. Wow, orange circuits is completely full. Okay, ideal. Right then, so we've got one, two, three, four, and then five up there. I think we want to actually have our construction area right in this bit here. That's where we want to be. So I'll come back down here. This is definitely going to have to be the, the spot that we do it. So we want to have the construction area for it in here. That's that's fine. So there's five items that we've got to have being put onto belts in order to load this. That's not actually that difficult to set up. We will do ten things all the way along like this, except that those are too close to the line above. I'm going to bring it down by at least two. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9, and 10. There we go. And we'll go into here. And we will go into Angel's Blocks right there. And Angel's Block level 3. That's the bad boy that we're after. We go all the way along here and copy-paste. And so i got to get five ingredients coming in, which means I need three belts feeding them. We're going to have two belts on this side. Like that, bring that one back, like that, and then I need another belt feeding over here, and then I've got to have an outfeed belt, that's also got to be on this side, and it's going to come down over to here, right, out, outfeed belt, that's going to go over to there, so we then can go and put, I've got no belts left, where is my nearest supply box? Soon I will have robots that will supply me and I won't have to go to supply boxes. There's one just up here. At least I have got a few supply boxes around now. They are at least half useful. If I was to actually load them up with everything that I wanted, then it would be even more useful. So I need some of these to be loaded in here. Why is... Oh, request be already exists. That's why. Uh, I will ask for 600 belts to go into here, and I will also ask for some underground belts in here. It's going to be 200 of those. I will ask for 50 of these to be brought in. Inserters. We'll also ask for some inserters. We'll ask for 200 inserters to be brought in as well. 
Unfortunately, that means that that supply box is completely and utterly useless for my current desires and needs. So where did I... Oh, that did not actually got very far to go. Probably why I didn't put it in here in the first place, because I can just run down to these. I don't have to worry about it, but it's a lot easier if they're all in the same supply box. So let's go and have a few of these, like that. There we go. Right, I've got them, and then I can go over this way. How is the iron production doing now that I've gone and increased the speed that is all being sucked through? Still seems pretty good. This one is still going flat out. I got 4,000 to be delivered. Put 4,000 in there. I got plenty. I've got iron ore coming up this way still. So we're taking all of the iron ore that we can. That one is just running continuously flat out. And then the surplus is going up there. Uh, I have some of the iron going through here to the steel. And that's still being used. Everything seems to be fine. So, now I've got a couple of extra belts, I can do a few extra bits up here. The first thing that I want to do is I'm going to put a chest there so that we'll be able to collect the items that we make. I'll put a couple of these in. I'm then going to want to purge my factories of the completed products. So, we will put these along here, like this, to that point there. And that means I don't need belt that way. I'm not going to need that one either. I'm then going to want to have items coming into the factory. And they're going to go there. So I'm going to get rid of that belt. So we will do this. And I've got... There is method to my madness here. I'm placing down only one at the moment. Because then what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put that one over to there. And you're going to go over by one more. I'm going to quickly jump into here. Uh, next on the list, we've got red algae processing. I don't have a, very many of these blue data boxes. Uh, data cores, the blue ones, production ones at the moment. We're sort of in negative numbers. And those are the ones that we're waiting on. So if I was to start processing something that doesn't rely on those blue ones for a bit will allow those to sort of build back up in numbers and we can process faster i realize most of the stuff here is actually waiting for those blue ones but we'll start working down here on anything that's not blue and green so it'll make a little bit of a difference character mining speed plus 100 percent let's go for that one gonna take a bit longer because there's 256 Whereas these here are 128. This one's 256 over 60 seconds. This is 128 over 45 seconds. So, yeah, it's definitely going to take longer, but we'll let it happen anyway. Uh, that one, what I want this one to have is a long pickup and a long drop-off. And I want them all to be the same. So I'm going to do that all the way along there and then all the way along there as well so that they're all identical then we can go in here and we can do the next round so this one is going to pick up and place into the unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord it's a link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.